Hey guys, this video is going to be an introduction to swing high and swing low points. And what I want to accomplish with this video is to teach you how to better pick out swing high and low points. And the best way I've, I've figured out to do this was is going to be just visually and to go through a few examples and then let's apply what I teach to a live chart. So I'm going to go ahead here and draw two figures. And these figures are going to represent price right now. So one is going to be a squiggly line and one is going to look like a bunch of triangles. But I have a purpose for this. Okay, so basically what we look for and what a swing high point is, is a point or an area such as this where price comes up, tops out, and eventually comes down. And when price has completed this arc or this what I will refer to as a peak, that is when we have a swing high. And this is going to be vice versa for a swing low. When price comes down and forms this valley and it moves away, that's a swing low. So essentially a swing high is when you have price reaches a top point or a peak and it has lower price on both sides of it. So price is lower on both sides of that high point. And for a low, you have price at a low point, and price is higher on both sides. So if you look at this first one, we have a swing high, a swing low, and so forth. Finally, we get to the end of this chart, where price has once again begun to come up. But we do not yet know if this is going to be a swing high, or, a swing, or, or if it's just going to continue going straight up. So if price continues to go straight up, we have not made a swing high. But if price comes up and begins to turn over and form our peak, we begin to get the formation of a swing high. In the second picture I have here, which it looks like a bunch of triangles, again we have the same thing, but this time price reaches a point, or like the top of a mountain. So if price comes up, and reaches that extreme point and comes down, once again we have that swing high. And vice versa for our swing lows. So we have a our swing high, a swing low, swing high, and so forth. And like the first picture, again we don't know if this is going to be a swing low over here at the end because price has not turned up. If price turns up like this, that would complete it and would make this a swing low. So what I want to do here is apply these concepts that we learned visually through these drawings to an actual chart. So let's go ahead and pull up a chart. And what I have here on the screen is the Euro USD daily chart. So all I'm going to do here is exactly what we did previously and that is to apply those concepts of finding peaks and valleys within price. So if we look, if we start, let's say we started right here. If we look, price form this top here, and it would look something like this. So that would be comparable to this chart, or excuse me, this drawing I was showing you in the beginning. So price came up, price came up here, form this peak before falling off. So when price falls down like this, we've now completed this peak. So that is our swing high point, which is the same here as it is here. Then price came down and has now come back up again, forming this valley point. So when price finally finishes this up here, we have our swing low. So on this chart now, we have our swing high and our swing low, which looks something like this. But now we don't know if we're going to form another swing high until price either completes that like this, and that would be a swing high, or it keeps going. So let's just go through this chart, and I'm just going to go ahead and draw what we have here. And we look something like this. Now there's a lot to talk about on this chart though. 
First we have this swing low point, which is formed by price being higher on both sides. So that's pretty straightforward here. That would be a swing low point. Then price does something a little bit different here. It comes up, it actually comes down momentarily, and comes up again before coming down. So if we zoomed into this area here, we would have a swing high, a swing low, and a swing high. But what I want to clarify is this swing low here is what I would call a minor swing low because it has much less significance because price came right back up. So instead of calling this a swing high, a swing low, a swing high, we can simply look at this whole area as one swing point or one swing high. And that was what I was trying to show in the first picture I drew. Sometimes these swing points would be areas such as this instead of a single point like this, which would be comparable to this chart. So that is something that happens where we'll have these minor swing points within these major swing points. So then if you look again, price came up here and made another one of those minor swing low points before continuing on. So let's Let's go over a little bit more what I mean by minor and major swing points. So I'm going to go and zoom out to the to the monthly chart, excuse me. So right now we're on the monthly chart. And this is what we can see price did. Price formed a swing high up here, came down, formed a swing low, formed another swing high here over here. Price then came down stalled for a little bit before forming this swing low. We came up, we formed this swing high, and then we formed this swing low before being where we are now. So visually our chart looks something like this. So we have our swing high points and low points the same as this chart. But what I want to focus on is where we are now. So this is where we are now. Price is going straight up. So on the monthly chart, we don't see any of the swing charts that we might see on the daily chart. So if we go back now to the daily chart, price on the monthly might look like this, straight up. But on the daily chart, we will see these swings. So my point being that on one time frame, your swing points might look one way, but when you drop down, you have swing points within those swing points. So you have these major swing points that I showed on the monthly, and then you have what would be minor swing points on the daily. So it's all going to be relative to what time frame you're on. So if you're on the monthly time frame, these swing points on the daily time frame have much less significance to you. And if we're on the daily time frame, the, the swing points, say, on the hour chart have much less significance. So basically what price is doing is price is moving in these waves. So right now for the euro, price is moving up like this. And then within th this wave up will be smaller waves up and down or smaller swing highs and swing lows. So basically this first video was just to give you a little bit of an introduction to swing high and swing low points. And on the next video, I will show how we apply Fibonacci retracement to these swing points.